Welcome to the Legacy Lost Radio and Music Paradise. Today I'm going over a Whistler 1065, how to calibrate your SS uh, signal strength meter f from using Windows, Win 500 from Starsoft. Um, basically what it is, is uh, your S meter is uh, calibrated too generously from the factory and then usually when you do an upload to the scanner or download and then it wipes out your meter. So what I did is I went to Mike's uh, easy to read scanner page. I looked at his settings that he recommends. But for the newer Whistler scanners, the calibration is not the same on there. And there's question marks in there. So what I did is I looked at his settings and what his recommendations were on the older model. And I just used the math on that and I calculated it to, to make these a little bit lower. So these are the new calibrations that work uh, really good for me um, for your signal strength. And uh, let me show you here. Signal bar 1, 241. Signal bar 2, 276. Signal bar 3, 304. Signal bar 4, 322. Signal bar 5, 352. And again, it'll show you a much more accurate reading than the uh, factory settings, which pretty much everything was giving me five, five bars. There's not much in between, so this seems to work a lot better. So in the meantime, and then the next issue is colors, LED colors on the Whistler 1040 and 1065. And the colors that are on here, you can set them, but when you put them to the radio, they're not what they show on here. And even so, they're not quite the same color in here that I'm for the for the Whistler 1065 and 1040. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just a, a glitch in the software or something, but uh, the colors are definitely not what they... Uh, if you send them from the factory to that radio, they're, the yellow, the purple, and the white is off. So these are the settings I use and seem to be happy with them. Now I got uh, the colors that I like. And uh, your black is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, usually they're okay from the factory. The red is FF0000. Now the yellow is a tricky one. Uh, the yellow I had didn't look like much yellow. It's more like a red. And so what I use is EA for the R, A8 for the G, and 00 for B. Now I use that for yellow and I use that for like schools, buses, and uh, things like that. Um for different things i use red for fire black for uh, certain things green i use for like forestry and uh some of the local ham things your green is zero zero ff zero zero um your cyan i use that for some of the digital um zero zero d zero on the g b zero on the blue and for your blue color that i think that was fine from the factory Zero zero for the red, zero zero for the green, FF for the blue. Um, the purple pink color is kind of that uh, looks kind of like a pur it's uh, definitely got purple on there now on my radio. Um, I use FF for R, zero zero for G, A zero for B, and I got a nice good purple color for that. Now the white, um, it's not a quite a hundred percent like a brightish white color. It's kind of got like a little bit of a tint to it, but I use the far extreme from the black. Uh, you see like black is 0000. zero, 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 zero. White is FF, FF, FF. That's the max on that. So those are your colors for your uh, thing. So I hope I give that a try. Save your what you have and try these and send them to your radio and uh, see if that helped any. And give us a thumbs up if you would. Took a little time to figure this out, but those are my colors for the... Uh, Win 500 for a Whistler 1065, 73.